Hello everyone, I am the Fudge 3004 welcome back to Grounded. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. What the heck? There's Clovers coming through my wall. And get out of here, Clovers. So, uh, last time that we were here, we were using these slime lantern well from the mold the mold slime mold blah, 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 slime mold stock we were using the slime lanterns and they were lasting oh 20 seconds 30 seconds tops it wasn't really very long and uh so i've had this happen too you're watching a video and you're watching somebody do something and you're telling the person Look down, look down, just look down, scroll down farther, you know, or you pick that up, pick that up, whatever. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're telling them to do that. And, yeah, so I had somebody that was telling me that in a comment that I needed, I was not making the right thing. Let's go to E. Let's go down here. So the thing that I was making is a, is a slime mold torch, which does okay. But I just needed to scroll down a little bit more, and I was looking just a few seconds ago. So this is a slime lantern. A lantern made from hydrophobic materials and slime mold, useful for exploring the murky depths. So we do have enough of this. What I'm thinking is, let's make maybe like two of them. And that way we'll know, and then we can always put one aside if we don't need it. This should last longer. So we'll do that. Okay, we don't have any more slime mold stocks. We're out of that. We can get more. I'm not worried about that. At least I believe we can get more. Okay. We now have one of these. So let's put that down there. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to go back down and we're going to go see if this will actually work good because we need to find out some stuff. We still need to find more bones. I don't know. We only have three bone, whatever bone pieces, whatever they are. What time is it? Yeah, it's only 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. And while I was editing my last video, I was telling myself that I needed to go and find something too because I went right past it, but I didn't even see it until I was editing. And I'll show you what that is. So we're going back down to the water for a little bit more. And I would like to see if maybe we can take out an insect like, I don't know, a spider or a ladybug or something like that. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I would like to try to. All right. Let's go down. I want to find out where that Rex is. So let me go see about that. And as soon as I find out where old Rex Arena is, we'll go down there and we'll begin looking to see if we can see what I saw and help ourselves out. So I will be back as soon as I find it. Alright, I did find it. It's over here where this tube goes down. Now I just need to get a little bit of air. Alright. We got that. Where else do we need to go? We need to get out number seven because we gotta go over here this way back here. Fifty perk. Can't even hear what she says with their mask on. There it is. It's right over here. Let's get out number six as well. So when I was editing, right here is another one. Okay, let's get this one too right here. Got all five pieces. That's a big chest. Got all five pieces. Sweet. Ooh, this lantern's actually lasting. How do you like that? That's crazy. Let's go up and let's make that hood thing that we need because we got to... Come on. Let's go follow the bubble. Hurry. 
I'm gonna be sorry if you don't. I know, I'm going, I'm going. Let's go ahead and lower that now since we don't need it. Um, oh, seven. Okay. Come on, we're almost there. No doubt. All right. Sweet. Then we can also lower number six. Something swimming, I can hear it. Let's go back. Let's see if we can make that hood thing. Because we needed five of those. I don't know if we're going to need m much else. But I guess we will find out. Yeah, so all I got to do is... I got to get up on here again. And as you know, I always have a problem getting up on here. Ta-da! Alright, I think we have some y uh, rope in here. It's like we have three rope. That's good. All right, let's go to here. Now, I do believe that it is armor that we need, and it should be the bubble el helmet. We need four silk rope. I do believe we can make it an improved piece of respiration gear that combines sunken bones and other hydrophobic materials to make even more air pockets for extended underwater breathing. S plus veteran diver. Sweet. Let's go find those ro those ropes. I do know we have some. I just don't know. Do we have any on our person? No, we do not. Well, let's get out these first. There's those two. We are really full now. All right. We will drop eelgrass and we'll drop that. We're not doing too bad water-wise. Let's go ahead and have one more of these. Ugh. I've had worse, I guess. And now, let's go to here. We'll get out. We'll take these and then we will spin those. So we only need two more, but we might as well go ahead and make an extra one. You never know when we're going to need it. That will be done soon, and these will be done soon, too. So what we got to do is just kind of wait around. And in the process, I want to go see about one more thing that's going to be very important if we're going to do anything. This is what I was looking for, was this weevil shield. Uh, we need four raw weevil meat. We have crude ropes and we have grub hide, so I'm not too worried about that. What we got to do is go get some weevils. Four of those. Well, while that's still being done, I guess we should go maybe find some water and do that. And I'm going to go gather those weevils and I will be back as soon as I have that kind of stuff done. All right, I got some of the stuff done. We'll take these and we'll also take that rope. I'll put the rope away most likely and i did find one weevil that's all i found so far so we're kind of gonna have to wait around till we can find some more we do have enough rope now what we gotta do is just kind of wait for a little bit wait for more weevils to show up whenever that is it'll probably be morning as long as this doesn't go bad we can get three more soon that's what we're gonna have to do come on these plants sometimes okay plants are in my way bothering me but you know I guess when you're microscopic or darn near close, I guess that's probably going to happen. And I guess I'm just going to wait around until I can find some more weevils. And until then, I will talk to you then. And we will make that. And then we'll go down and see if we can explore that area where that white light is coming from once we get that far. I'm just now getting back to the base. It is nighttime. I did get the four weevil meat. Just had to go like crazy and run around and see if I could find them and all that stuff. So, weevil shields. Sweet. Let's make this. 
Craft. All right, now, um, gotta go to our inventory. All right, there we go. Let's, hey, hey. ah, strong hand. Okay, so that means we can put that in our strong hand. And now we have that, sweet. I think that maybe the bow could have been in there, but I don't know, so just wanted to do that. Now we have a shield that we can use as well. That is awesome. You know, it looks like we need to repair this guy. What do we need to repair? Well, we do have enough. Let's go ahead and get our chest piece repaired since it's down quite a ways. Good, 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 good. Now we have everything that we need for that. Now, what else did we make that helmet? No, we did not. Let's go to here and be face mask. Oh, okay, cool. How do you like that? An intimidating face mask make you made of hard to gather materials, aerodynamic, and adds a bonus to sprint distance. Wow, the defense is awesome. All right, let's go down here and let's find that bubble helmet. So we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and make this. Sweet, we have the bubble helmet. We have the bubble helmet. Now that we have that, I think, I don't know where we have to put that. Um. Let me go see. Okay, that goes there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I don't know how much room exactly or how much oxygen we're going to have. But, at least we do have a couple of more things made. And that is awesome. I am going to go down. I'm going to get a quick drink and then we're going to go to sleep for the night. And I will see you in the morning. All right, I'm mostly full on food and water, mostly. And there was something that I wanted to show you. Let me see if there's a droplet down here. And right now there is not, okay. In here, we've been in this can quite a few times, you know. But if you go right here, you can see that there's a soda drop. And... These things will come out, obviously, and they, they're the ones that come over here and roll down here. But it looks like there's an endless supply in there. So if you can get in there, you can get some good soda drops. This is that juice. So we are in a pretty good area, I would say. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go to number one and let's get out our dagger. Now, I gotta go down there, find that Rexy again, and let's go into that place. First, let's go see how much oxygen we do have. Whoa, hey buddy. Saw your shadow over there, but didn't know what was going on there, man. Oh, shush. All right. Well, let's go see. 158 seconds or something like that. That's a lot. And again, what I gotta do is go see if I can find where, there we go, the cable's right down there underneath us. All right, let's go get oxygen filled, and we're gonna go into the area. Go! All right. Oops. Uh, seven. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and get our thing filled up here real quick, huh? Make sure we do have enough oxygen to make it all the way through, because I don't know how long that's going to be. All right. Go down here, and it's right over there. Now, what I want to do is, just in case we happen to find any more bones. Oh, look at that, another bone. Sweet. Got that, and let's just take a... 
Oh, moss key, okay. Let's take a look over here. Wow, this is nuts. How do you like that? There's all kinds of stuff back. It looks like some more bones. We're gonna need these anyway. I hope we're doing the right thing, but I guess we'll find out here soon. Where to go, where to go, where to go. All right. Whoa, we got thrown up there. How do you like... Well, we, no, we did not get thrown up there. We got tossed up there. I don't know how we get around here. and We're getting low on oxygen. Oh, look at that right there. Okay, we got to do Pond Lab, and I don't know how we get in there. Okay. Oh, look, oxygen. Oxygen. Science. Thank you. Hoping we can find something here because we are going to be hurting. Oh, all right. This is a pain to get to. I do got to say, let's go ahead and lower that right now before that gets down because it is down. So, wait. So, now we are in another place. It's a little flooded, but not bad. Caution, low voltage. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there, caution, low voltage. Oh, okay. Power grid control. Battery backup. Nice. So this is probably what we need to do to help out. Ooh, hey, what's this? Ham's test day one. Initial diagnostics indicate that everything is in working order and ready to begin the Brussels sprouts live testing phase using the automated hydroponic aquaculture microponics system, or HAMS. I suppose, going forward, Burgle's task of cultivating the biodome mycelium network seems to have not been a complete failure, and signals are detectable in all extremities. Biodome operational, grow nodes operational, nitration system operational, fungal network active, surprisingly. Harvesting is typically 90 days out, but initial tests show small browts are ready within the span of a week. We'll look to optimize that further, keeping in mind a certain level of structural and in structural integrity is required to scale up, scale them up to nearly a great root size. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here for us to read. We're gonna have to pull that lever. But let's go look in here real quick. All right, number three. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh-wee, we took damage. Okay, Barbarian, nice. Let's use a number eight. Heal ourselves up nice and good. What the heck? Oh, I see a place to sleep at. Ominent lab bed. Okay. Uh, oh, a workbench. Okay. So this is the same workbench, just fancier. So there's really nothing that we can do with that except for use it. Nice, we got some bandages. All right, let's go check out this. Ham's test, day 15. No change from last week, but I feel we're on the cusp of something here, and I've got an idea. I shot awake this morning, sweaty with the memory of the frenetic energy of fitness infomercials that popped on before the kids' Saturday morning cartoon shows. And in those early hours, being annoyed at the greasy glow of skin stretched tight over bursting muscles, screaming about some new trivial invention, veins volt, 
veins bulging with hot blood but that movement and excitement that's what's missing our wilted pettits choo chow I don't know what that word is need to get pumped up with this inspiration we're moving forward with an admittedly odd Hail Mary procedure for generation 2 vascular grafting at the time of writing this we've already removed the cumbersome stem from the growth process rendering these auxiliary buds longing for a new system to be a part of I've had Burgo harvest the appendicular artery off the old jarred appendix and I've begun splicing them into the sprouts, sprout roots, mending the union with a manner of agar glue. The system of both man and plant are not that different after all, but could they be this compatible? Okay. He's doing all kinds of testing stuff on everything, man. That's awesome. I guess that's awesome. Okay, there is this. That's locked. There's no way, there's no switches or anything that I know of, other than the battery backup, which we still have to go do. So we do have quite a bit of science now, 2920. It is still isn't a lot, but it's more than what I thought. A, B, and C. Grid control, battery backup. Error reset beakers. Huh? I don't know what that means. Well, I guess we'll have to. I wonder if it has something to do with back here or something. Looks like the stuff is. Okay. I don't know why those three lights are on, but one isn't. Can't do anything there. Okay. Reset beakers, huh? So probably got to go find another lab or something. Still nothing back there that we can do. But I don't know if maybe Burgo might know something more about that. So we should probably go back and talk to him. We're going to need water. I don't think there's any water to slurp here. So, let's just come down here to where we can, huh? Alright, we're going to get ready to swim out of here, or at least back through. So, away we go! Oh, slime molds, I am taking these slime... Wow, look at all this stuff, holy moly. I am taking these for sure. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Quartzite. Oh, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. Ooh, rope. Okay. That is silk rope. I'm taking those. Good. We don't have to take all of... What is that? Oh, berry leather. Sweet. We are coming back here. That is for sure. The heck? And look at all of this stuff here. Ooh, diving bell, spider chunk. Ooh, nice. Water boatman fins. Uh-huh. Yes, we have to come back down here and harvest for sure. Didn't even know that stuff was there. Of course, I was panicking trying to, you know, find oxygen and barely did. But at least we did find the entrance to this place. So now we know about this also. Okay, there's a way out here and there's also okay that way right there and we went in this way here okay let's go over here a little bit more and let's just see what there may be I really don't know yep bring the light Allie bring the light let's get our chauvel okay just danger and let's get out of here man look at all these bones back here that's awesome goody goody gum drops we own the boat bones another koi scale nice 
Wow, so many bones. Good, we can make some good stuff with all of this. More koi scales. Alright, we gotta get out of here before we end up in trouble because we already have 70 seconds left. But we did find a lot of bones and that is always good. Wow. So many bones. That's awesome. Of course, I'm going to be grabbing them. You know that. Got to make sure to prepare ourselves, you know. Come on. Let's get out of here. We got a long ways to go to get up. All right. We made it back to that lab. That was a lot more than what I actually anticipated on doing, and that lab was pretty darned exciting, I do gotta say. I think we're gonna be okay, as long as we just go straight up and don't, you know, dilly-dally or anything. Yes, I know, I know. Let's lower that. Come on. You hurry up, friend. Thank you very much. We're on the other side. Probably ought to get a drink or something real quick. Lower everything so we don't have to worry about it. And let's get up here for a quick minute. Come on. You know, friend, sometimes you drive me crazy. So close to getting up there, too. There you go. All right. So this that is the milk bowler that we found earlier, a few episodes ago. Let's go get ourselves a drink of this nasty water, because we don't really have a lot of choice in the matter. At least I'm going to attempt to, and then we'll go back home and we'll begin assessing and seeing what all we can do and what all we can make. All right. We got a lot of stuff here, man. So we got nine bones, and there was a couple of torches that we picked up, which I did not know that. And we have eight more of these slime mold stalks. That's good. Now, do we have... I thought I put away some slime mold stocks somewhere. I'm pretty sure that I did, is all I gotta do is find them. Well, let's just go ahead and stick them in here, huh? And I'll go ahead and put away these torches too. Thank you for your information about the lantern. I did not know about that. That was something that I was totally unaware of and I do appreciate you letting me know that because that is always important. Now, I don't remember this bee stinger thing. What does it have as far as damage? I don't remember. Um, let's, let's take it out. Let's put it there. Looks kind of dangerous, huh? I want to go see if we can find an ant or something and try it on one of them and just see what the heck happens. We do have enough room. Yeah, we also got some more silk rope. There's a lot of stuff down there. We got to go see about getting quite a bit more stuff, don't we? And then we will... I don't know if we're going to get around to doing an, an, an insect or not, but we will see. All right, let's do six. And let's go see what this is. One. Time to get out of here. Oh yeah, we don't have any armor, do we? I forgot about that part. Run, 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 run. Five. Come on, friend. Let your stamina rebuild. Okay. 
I guess we gotta put on this stuff before we just go battling things, you know, that might help out a little bit. Sometimes I'm not too thoughtful with that kind of stuff. Let's try this again. Six. One. Okay, good. We got an acid gland. We took a lot of damage, but I don't think we did too bad otherwise. This thing seems to be fairly strong, too. We didn't really do a lot to it, which is always good. Taking out the larvae, I know, is nothing compared to the bugs, but I guess, you know, we'll do what we gotta do, right? All right, now we got enough food, or water at least. Let's go ahead. I think we have food. Well, we have one of these, so we can do that. Mm, can't waste food. It's not can't a lot, but it does mm, help. Can't waste food. I hear you. Where are you? I want to see if I can find you, because I want to try my... Little stinger radar on you. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good. Got him. Sweet. We are completely full, so I don't know. There may be something here. There is. We have plenty of ant heads. I'm not too worried about that. Took out the ant pretty doggone quick, I do gotta say. It's about like the club, except the club does a lot better job of stunning them. All right, well, we got another acid gland. That is always good. There's nothing wrong with that. We got a whole bunch more bones. There's a lot more stuff down there to loot, which I think is pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, now, building down there would probably not be the best idea. I forgot I was full already because we just don't have enough room for anything, you know. Let me get some stuff put away, and I'll come back, and we'll see about what we're going to do next. Let's go look to see what kind of weapons or whatever we can make with our bone stuff that we have now. And I don't know exactly. We already have this. Um, okay. I'm hoping that we can make a bone trident, bone dagger. Diving knife made of more robust materials, increasing the tool's effectiveness and its various functions. So, we have this... Um, where's it at? Larva blade. Now the stinger spear, okay, it doesn't do any stun, but it does fast and a lot of, and fair amount of damage. Um, let me go see what it was I was looking for. Pebblet dagger right here. So this does one damage, and this bone dagger does quite a bit more damage. So we do have all of this stuff, and that would replace our pebblet dagger. Bone trident. Does good stun. Okay. But we don't have diving bell chunks as much. So I guess let's go ahead and make this dagger. That's going to take things out. Quite a bit easier, I hope, down there. And then we can get some more diving bell spider chunks. I guess we're going to need those. We... Okay, we have enough sunken bones. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So we don't have any more diving bell spider chunks. Let's go to our inventory. And that is our larvae blade. Where's our... There it is. Let's put that... That's our pebblet dagger. Let's drop that. 
I know there was no need to move that like that, but whatever. And I know where these guys go. Everything's so messed up right now. I just need to get stuff organized. All right, so we have a good new weapon. That's awesome. We have this bone dagger right here, man. That is great. That's going to help out quite a lot. Super fast. I do like that. That's amazing. I haven't seen old Twiddletoes eight-legged dude wherever he is. I just don't know where he is. Where's he at? He appears to be stuck somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, got him. Can always use more food, everybody knows that. Let's go and get that cooked up. We probably won't get around to doing an insect today, but at least we got in that lab, and that was kind of hard to get to, for one thing. That was pretty amazing. And we got our diving thing done. That was pretty awesome, too. And I think that's probably all we're going to get to today, but we do have the resources to be able to go and do more stuff. We just need to take on more things and be able to do that so soon 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 all right there we go i am gonna sleep for the night but until then this is grounded thank you for joining me here i hope you had a lot of fun i had a lot of fun going into that lab and figuring out how we're gonna do all of that stuff and i like our new little weapon here that thing is pretty cool looking man i like the little serrated edges on it and this thing is going to do a lot of damage our, our stinger spear did pretty good too being what it is maybe we can take out some good stuff with that too since considering it's so fast but it doesn't doesn't do much stun and that's one problem that we're going to have to be looking into we'll try out this guy on a couple of you know the diving bell spiders and we'll keep our armor on and then we'll go down and we'll do some more exploring in there, probably looting all of that stuff out. So until next time, you have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.